we're here at an undisclosed location here in South Africa. We're here for a very special reason. We've been gifted a piece of land where we can really look after the rhinos uh, and get them ready to go back into the wild. The animals are going to have so much more space. It's a much wilder environment for the animals. They can go out into the wild sooner. Our smallest baby at the orphanage currently is a little one called Benji. He's a bit of an intensive calf. We need to make sure that this rhino gets exercise, so we'll take him out to play with the ball twice a day. He is refusing to eat grass at the moment, so we've given him a sheep friend called Button. <laughs> Hopefully Button will show him how to eat grass. Today, every move is very important. It's very stressful. A lot of things can go wrong. Moving up the orphans is not an easy feat. Our vet will come and sedate them, we'll blindfold them and walk them into trailers. For the smaller calves like little Benji, we'll have to have him fully sedated. He's too small to travel in a, in a game trailer, so he'll go in the back. Okay, so we've got little Benji in the back here and it's bye-bye old orphanage. We moved them a year, they're safe. We had this magnificent new location that's taken a few years in the planning and that's come through together. The new Rhino Orphanage. Bit of emotion. <laughs> no, it's just uh, the end of an era and the start of a new one. <laughs> we are on 5,000 hectares of Rhino Paradise. It is unbelievable and you can see how content they are. And that's what it's all about. For us, it's just such an enormous privilege to be able to do this.